A national integrated e-waste management program has been launched in Accra. The launch paves the way for the construction of an e-waste recycling facility at Abuglushi, which is expected to end the indiscriminate disposal of electrical and electronic waste in Ghana. It is estimated that about 40 to 50 million tons of electronic and electrical waste popularly called e-waste are generated globally and majority of this waste ends up on the African continent. E-waste contains dangerous chemicals that are injurious to human health, specifically causing kidney and lung cancers, among others. Government has been initiating strategies to deal with the e-waste, hence the Hazard Wars and Electronic Waste Control and Management Act 917. The implementation of this act will pave the way for government to establish a state-of-the-art integrated recycling facility at Agwabloshi, which is built to transform the place. Today's launch, ladies and gentlemen, marks the initiation of two key provisions of Act 917, which are critical to the successful implementation of this new law. First is the designation of the external service provider, i.e. SGS, to verify, assess, and collect the advanced recycle echo fee on all electrical and electronic equipment under the fifth schedule of Act 917, imported from all exporting countries. Second is the establishment of a state-of-the-art recycling facility to be constructed in Agbobushi in fulfillment of Section 31 of Act 917. The recycling facility will not be a stand-alone entity, as there's a component of the project that will establish that will support the establishment of a network of collection centers to provide continuous supply of raw material to sustain the operations of the facility. President Akufuadu was optimistic the implementation of the new act will bring to an end indiscriminate dumping of e-waste. President Akufuadu tasked all stakeholders to take advantage of the new e-waste management system. With the implementation of this program, and as per the provisions of Act 917, I urge all non-governmental organizations and international partners such as KFW and GIZ who are engaged in e-waste programs to synchronize their activities with the Ministry of Environmental Science, Technology and Innovation and the environmental protection agencies. The construction of the ultra-modern recycling plant, which will begin in October this year, is expected to take 18 months to complete. The government is partnering with various stakeholders, including the private sector, to deal with the dumping of electronic waste.